तो भाई फ्रेंड्स या मुझे हिंदी में बोलना चाहिए तो ये अच्छा है फ्रांस की भारतीय बौद्धिक और सृजनात्मक दुनिया में जो उपस्थिति है वो कम से कम चार पांच क्षेत्रों में एक क्षेत्र जो अपेक्षा के अधिक जाना माना है वो है ललित कलाओं का एक समय था जब भारत के लगभग सभी प्रतिभाशाली कलाकार वहाँ पढ़कर आए थे वहाँ उन्होंने कला की शिक्षा की सब जानते ही हैं कि पेरिस कला की राजधानी माना जाता था तो सृजनात्मक स्तर पर तो एक ये प्रभाव था दूसरा संबंध था विचार के स्तर बस तो उसको मैं थोड़ा बाद में लेता हूँ उपन्यास के स्तर पर और फ्रांस ने जो हम फ्रांस के उपन्यासों पर थोड़ा देर से पहुंचे कम से कम हिंदी में ज्यादातर उपन्यास जो हमको प्रभावित करते थे वो रूसी उपन्यास थे उन्नीसवीं शताब्दी के लेकिन आजादी के थोड़ा पहले लेकिन उसके बाद तो निश्चय ही हमने जानना शुरू किया कि फ्रांस में एक तरफ एमिल जोला जैसे व्यक्ति थे जिन्होंने एक पूरा आंदोलन ही चला दिया था और दूसरी तरफ इस तरह के लोग थे जिन्होंने आंद्रे जीद मसलन और उसके बाद जापाल साथ अलबेर कामयू मासे प्रूस्ट ये बिल्कुल नए किस्म का उपन्यास था वो उपन्यास जो एक यथार्थवादी ढांचे में ढला हुआ उपन्यास था और जिसके हम बड़े प्रेमी और पाठक थे उससे थोड़ी मुक्ति किस प्रभाव में थी तीसरा क्षेत्र था फ्रेंच कविता और फ्रांस ने उन्नीसवीं सदी में ही शुरू कर दिया था एक तरह की नई आधुनिकता का का शुभारंभ बॉदलेयर से और ये भी दिलचस्प है कि फ्रांस की सारी की सारी परंपरा जो आलोचना की है उसमें कवियों ने बड़ी भूमिका निभाई है बहुत देर से बहुत बड़ा कवि था और उसके बाद अपोलो नेयर और बोन फुआ और अंद्रे फ्रेंक अंद्रे जाम इत्यादि इत्यादि दे हैव बीन ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पोएट्स हु हैव बीन आल्सो आर्ट क्रिटिक्स ऑफ ग्रेट रिप्यू एंड दे आल्सो हैड एन इम्पैक्ट The fourth area, which is what we are concerned with today, perhaps more importantly, is the area of thought. There was a time when I remember in the 70s or 60s when I was growing up, uh, Time magazine had published a whole number on the new philosophers, and they were all French. Uh, there was a, there was a, a kind of a uh, uh, splash of new uh, voices. For me, I was a young student in BA when, in literature, the idea of commitment erupted in a big way. And if you recall, the idea of commitment was championed by Jean Paul Sartre. And soon after. We knew, came to know the dissident with Sartre, that was Albert Camus. So these were writers, but also thinkers. About the same time, Sima de Boer's book, The Second Sex, came. Most of us who were my age read it in English translation. The Hindi translation appeared much later. And I don't think we had much. That. But uh, and that suddenly brought that there were issues in philosophy and thought which were different from the conventional issues that we were used to. Uh, they were not concerned so much with the meaning of existence and all the, that kind of a metaphysical stuff, but they were concerned with our own realities, the day-to-day -day realities. And one of those day-to-day -day realities was the place of woman. Uh, it has been 
upset, and, and, and rightly so, that Samad and Adabua brought into focus at least four or five points about woman. One, that woman is not a historical creation. It's a genetic weapon. It's, 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 a, it's not something that has been created by the humanity. And yet, Humanity has seen to it to make the woman the other. So there is the otherness of woman created by history and humanity, if you like. But woman herself and how her autonomy, her freedom, and she sort of uh, wades through uh, Christian theology, the Greek, uh, society, the Roman society, partly Indian society, but not so much, and all other societies to come and to bring to our attention that how societies, <coughs> religions, uh, political systems, economy have all been unfair, unjust to them. And this was a most uh, shocking uh, acknowledgement for many of us uh, who were used to uh, treating the conventional place of woman. And we ourselves, I mean, on the one hand, we have said, uh, etc., which is all very fine, but in terms of the place of woman, and one of our great poets, Kabir, in fact, uh, yeah, in fact, uh, thought that all source of evil is woman. So we had in India a very mixed heritage. Uh, and the heritage was heavily weighed against women. And that's my view. To which this uh, intervention of the second sex was a very uh, meaningful, exciting, and if I say, mind-changing intervention. 